skateboarding from a very, very cold Chicagoland area. We are once again on our way out to Metro Bowl in Crystal Lake. Got a bowl in their January edition of their Scratch 5 Gamer. This event is going to be on a 47 foot 3 to 1 ratio pattern. I think it's called Broadsword from the one of the European series. I'll put the uh, pattern up on the screen here. It's going to be interesting. I've never ever bowled a pattern that long before, so between that and the ratio, it's going to be a challenging day. I'm taking the whole arsenal, other than the Insight, which wasn't ready yet. No big deal there. I'm going to probably start with the Phase 2, see how that behaves. I expect to probably spend more time with the Phase today. We'll see how that goes. But beyond that, it's going to be the same thing as I try to do on any of these typical patterns. Keep the ball in front of me, make my spares, which last time was a real big problem, and just keep my head on straight and keep things steady. If I do that, it should be at least a pretty okay day. At that point, my phone was running low on battery power and on storage. I only have about 30 gigs of free storage, so I went ahead and shut down filming for the day. For the last two games, I went 193-193 to finish at minus 20 for the day. I had a handful of missed single pin spares in those games, primarily on the left side, an ongoing problem. But in the end, that's only cost me a couple of position points in the standings. I ended up being ninth out of 15 bowlers, those spares, would have had me in 7 out of 15. So they did cause me to fail my primary goal of finishing in the top half. But I'm still pretty happy with the day. I essentially hit my secondary goal of going positive, and minus 20 means I average 186 for the day. That means I bowled my league average on sports shot. So that feels really good. I'm satisfied with the performance while still acknowledging the improvements left to make. The weirdest thing about the day was I found myself moving my feet to the right rather than to the left, which is normal. I literally had never had to experience that in my career, and it took me some time to realize I even needed to do it. I was crossing with the regional pro and asked him about it, and 
he explained he was making the same moves and that it was likely to do the carry down. This pattern wasn't just long, it was wider in the middle. And so bulls were costing heavier oil than what might otherwise be expected. And so that was a really good learning experience for me and will serve me well in the future on these kinds of patterns. As was seen in the footage, I ended up shooting with the phase two all day. During warmups, I put a little bit of 2000 surface onto it and it had let it uh, hook enough, take enough to hook. I tried the phase on a couple fill shots later on in the block and it had nothing. So I was there all day. I'm curious to know how the insight would have done with, with that pattern. Just having a little bit of asymmetry would have helped, I think, but it wasn't ready in time. So alas. And that's all for this tournament report. Uh, once again, thank you to the folks at Metro Bowl for putting on excellent events. I'm looking forward to bowling the final three events of this season. And if you want to follow along with those and other events I'm planning to bowl in the first part of this year, be sure to subscribe. If you like any videos in particular, including this one, hit the thumbs up to let me know. Thank you again for watching. Good luck and good bowling.